Sometimes you can just end up with areas of an image that seem to be very bright and they seem to be all blocked up. This is very common when you're dealing with galaxies where the core can be quite uh, bright uh, and you lose detail in it. How do you deal with that? Well, PixInsight has a tool that's known as the HDR Multi-Scale Transform Tool. And it's designed to deal with just that particular case. And we're going to see how it can be used to uh, bring those saturated highlights under control. This image is a wide field shot in Sagittarius showing M8, the Lagoon Nebula, here. Um, and we have M20, the Trifid Nebula, here. And we have an open cluster M21 in here. Um, this happens to be a, an LHA RGB image. And so I had captured the uh, hydrogen alpha data that I wanted to add to this image. When you look at that particular image, you can see that in hydrogen alpha, this, this area of the lagoon is really blocked up and there's really not a lot of detail in there. And in fact, you can see the same thing happening here with the Triffid Nebula. So how could we fix that? Uh, well, we can try the uh, HDR multi-scale transform. Now, there's no live preview for this. So this is a kind of, you try it and see if your parameters are right and adjust them if they're not. And you do that until you get it right. Uh, there's a lot of parameters in this tool that you can adjust, but for today's video, I'm just going to play on the, with the most important one, which is the number of layers. This is a multi-scale transform tool that does separate the image into its various layers and then tries to manipulate them. And basically what we're trying to tell the algorithm to do is we're going to tell the algorithm to flatten out the areas beyond a certain structure. So this refers to the number of layers. So if I was to bring this all the way to the low lowest scale value it'll take to and apply this, you would expect that anything that has any scale above one or two pixels would be flattened out dramatically. Uh, and let's see if that's the case here with this image. Yeah, it's, it's pretty flat. Let's undo that. We really have lost a lot of detail and contrast in the image. By the same token, if I went to a much higher scale, let's say I went up to 10. Now we're saying that um, anything with a structure that's relatively large beyond you know 10, 10 layers of detail um, is going to be flattened. Uh, so we wouldn't expect that there's a lot of change that's going to happen with this image at that scale. So let's try that out. And in fact, it looks a little different, but not dramatically different. Let's go back and forth. That's where we were. That's where we are. So it did do some things, but it really didn't help us. So somewhere in between those two is where we want to go. Now, the default for this tool is six layers. Um, and I think that we're going to want to do something a little bit more than that. So I'm going to go up to eight layers. I'm going to try that out and see what I get. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, at the uh, eight layer level, uh, most of my structure that is on the low end of the scale is preserved and looks pretty good. The areas that were blown out before, they're certainly flattened, but uh, they're also, they've opened up and spread out uh, code values such that I'm now, I'm not just seeing this opaque uh, surface, I'm seeing structure inside of the nebula. And I'm seeing some dark globules, I'm seeing some stars, I'm seeing some thinner areas of nebula. This is kind of where I'd like to go. The problem is the whole image looks flat. And then one of the things I think you're going to learn is when you use the HDR multi-scale transform, uh, it will tend to expose more information that was lost in the highlights of the tone scale, but it'll also tend to reduce the overall tone scale. And so almost every time I've used this tool, I follow it up with a curves transformation where I can go in and tweak the contrast a little bit. Now here's the curves transformation tool, and here is... Um, a curve adjustment that I had played with before starting to record that wasn't too far off the beaten path. So we're going to open a live preview. Make sure we're talking with that one. And here it is applied. Let me take that uh, transform away. And you can see it looks flat here and we've helped it out. And all I've really done in here is if you look in here, here's the highlight of this area. If I click on that, uh, it's towards the top of the curve. And so I've put in a handle up in there and I wanted that to go higher so I've dragged this up. Um, there's some nice thin areas in here and those tend to be a little bit mid-scale or lower so I've put a I put a, a, a little lobe in here a little node in here that I can drag this around and then finally um, I don't want to mess around too much 
with some of this faint detail in here. And this is where I get the, the third value in here. Um, so this isn't too, too bad. I could go in and play with each one a little bit, see if I like it better. I can bring in a little bit more of the faint nebulosity, although it tends to reduce the overall contrast of the scene. And here, I can bring up a little, boost it a little bit more so the contrast in here is a little bit bigger. And then up in here, I can see what's going on on the high end. I might bring that down a little bit. Now, it seems like the change I want to make is different here than here. Uh, the Triffid is still blasted out. So this image really is a good candidate for creating a mask to separate these two objects out so they can be dealt with separately. I'm not going to do that for this demo. There are other videos in the two minute series that'll deal with that. But I think this is not too bad of a situation here. So we're going to get rid of the preview and we're going to apply this curve. And that's not bad. Let's go back to where we were before. Here we're all saturated. Now we've applied HDR transform and we've flattened the information beyond a certain scale. And now we've brought in our tone scale to bring that up a little bit. So we've, we've opened up this area dramatically. And then as you apply it to the uh, final image, you can see that I was able to open up the detail and let color and other uh, information from other layers come through and they weren't swamped by the hydrogen alpha uh, layer before it was folded in. So if you run into a situation where you feel like your high end is blocked off and you want to open it up, uh, HDR Multiscale Transform is a good tool to redistribute the codes at the high end and open that up a bit. Uh, that will flatten your image and then you can come in with a Curse Transformation tool and you can adjust your final contrast to get things where you'd like them to be.